here I thought that this was about equality. It turns out it's actually about ensuring that people choose between either conformity or bankruptcy. I mean, on this program alone, we've highlighted number a number of cases, whether it's Elaine Photography, whether it's Hands on Originals in Kentucky, whether it's bed and breakfasts in Maine, Vermont, Hawaii, whether it's a baker in Colorado or another baker in Arizona. I mean, there's so many examples of this. this these aren't rare instances anymore at all. These aren't just, oh, well, these are exceptions to the rule. This is becoming the rule. Persecution through lawfare. This is more than conformity. It's about uniformity, uniformity of thought. Tolerance and uh, acceptance are used interchangeably and incorrectly in the United States. Tolerance is allegedly the purview of the left in America. We are told all the time that tolerance is what separates them from us. Because, of course, conservatives belong to the party of old white bigots, male bigots, by the way. But the events in Indiana, they really should drive home the point that many of us have said for a long time. It's not about tolerance. It's about forced acceptance and about pressure and about making all of the things that used to be taboo or at least making everybody accept who you are. There's, you, no one has the right to be accepted by someone else. You don't, you simply don't. And it's about switching the deck too.